guys welcome back to the channel happy new week to you is another start to the great week uh, we hope we get all our wishes and desires for the week ahead today we're going to talk about possible debutants that we should expect in the black star squad ahead of the african cup of nations qualifiers the season is over and the players are expected to be in the country by the close of this week we should have a full house who will travel to cape coast for that game between madagascar and also Central African Republic, which will be played in Angola. I've clarified that for you. Today, we're going to look at the debutants uh, who are being purported to join the Ghana Black Star squad. list is not out. Clarification on the head coach role is not out. And the new contract he has been giving, it's not yet out. But we are preparing for a qualifier game. The FA using that strategy of not naming the squad also uh, until the last moment, uh, as they did in March. Uh, we'll look at everything today we'll look at the debutants as usual subscribe if you have not and uh, click on the notification bell to get more updates so today's shout out goes uh, to uh, Kwabna Ewa uh, he, yes Kwabna Ewa I, I, I hope it's a famous Kwabna Ewa though but Kwabna Ewa has been a recent commenter on the channel today is your time for your shout out so from the 40 man list uh, that is what uh, rumors are saying or toward the name that I mentioned last week there'll be debutants in there a goalkeeper debutant in David Akologo along with defenders a one striker and a, a couple of midfielders in there as well without much ado let's get right into it and start off from the goalkeeping position uh, with uh, David Akologo uh, David Akologo grew up in a suburb of Accra Medina the capital of Ghana and like many other young kids in Accra he started as a footballer and was a striker he started quite young he was a striker before being converted into a goalkeeper he started his career at a very tender age joining Medina based Lazio FC it was at Lazio his potential was unleashed helping them win several juvenile titles Akologo's dream of making it to the top saw him train with Ghana's 2014 World Cup goalkeeper Fatou Dauda, uh, who also hails from Adina, as well as former national goalie Steven Aholu and uh, Kujo Ado. I started off as a footballer, as a winger, and sometimes a striker. But when I joined Lazio, Braima, a local coach in our area, converted me to a goalkeeper. In the beginning, I didn't want to, but later realized I was really good at it. And this is how it started, he said. Akologo went on to play for Academy Sai Crystal Palace in Akosombo and Red Bull Academy. In his professional career, his path to Bolivia had its own patches. He started playing professionally for Division 2 outfit mobile phone people who were in the final of the league last season. And he later played for Ajax FC before his breakthrough at Tudu Mighty Jets, a famous club in Ghana known for unearthing talent. For the national team, even though he's yet to make a major appearance for the national team, he has been through the grade. His pairs had his chance with the national under 17 but couldn't make it to the final cut because he was very, very young at the time, the youngest goalkeeper among those invited. He was later invited to the under 20 team. A personal honors, Akologo's first taste of personal honors was at the age of 60 when he won the best juvenile regional goalkeeper award. He was also a part of the Aurora pa Aroco Prado's success in recent years, winning Simon Bolivar Championship twice. So David Akologo uh, with FC Aurora in Bolivia, uh, growing up in Medina, a bit of history on him. Uh, he is one that will join the Ghana Black Stars team reportedly from the 40-man squad that has been named uh, by Otuado. The next player is Tariq Lamte. Uh, fresh off uh, the season just ended and uh, fresh off switching nationality it is likely Tariq Lamte will be in the squad Brighton man who started in the Chelsea Academy as well moved to Brighton to get more playing time showed his worth when at Brighton but blighted by injuries uh, during his second season with them he has put in the effort in their games that they have had this season and owing to the Ghana qualifying for the World Cup decided to switch nationality switch of nationality almost done and dusted he's expected to acclimatize to the ghana national team uh, with the team Tariq lamte a right back for the ghana black stars the next player to look at is jan jamera in case you're wondering how it spells it's j-a-n-g-y-a 
M E R A H. Jan or Jan or Jan Jamra. Uh, he is 26 years of age. German professional, played all his life at right back and is currently with Hamburger SV. Recently took part in the playoffs over the weekend. For Jan Jamra this season, he's played 16 games, 13 of them being starts, provided one assist and kept uh, three clean sheets. He's the son of Ghanaian Steven Jamra, uh, who came to Berlin to study in 1989 and whose German wife was born in Berlin. In 1999, uh, the family moved to Stotten, Lower Saxony, where his sister Yvonne was born. Jamra played a first for local club Start Starthagen uh, before via Armenia Belfield moving to U Department of VFL Bochum in 2011. Uh, there he progressed through the various youth teams and made his professional debut on 20th December 2013 in the Bundesliga 2 uh, when he came on as a substitute in the 66th minute. On 14 February 2019, Jamara signed a three-year contract starting from 2019-2020 season with league rivals Hamburger SV. Under coach Dieter Hecking, Jamara immediately established himself in the starting lineup. Jamara has played with Hamburger SV. He has played for the youth side of Germany under 17 and under 18, four appearances for the under 18s, two appearances for the under 17. Started his youth career with Bochum before now permanently moving to Hamburger SP. So that's with the charm Jamara over there. The next one is Eno Quarting with Bordeaux. You know, Quartings Bordeaux unfortunately have been relegated. He will be playing in the second division of. Uh, uh, the French league. And Aquating this season has played a right back. 29 games, 22 of them being starts, a one goal and zero clean sheets. Unfortunate there for him. He has been one of the brightest back. Born in 1997, April 9th. He's a French footballer who plays a right back for Bordeaux. He's a France youth international, having played and represented the country at the under 16 and under 20 levels. His club career started with Nantes as a youth prospect and eventually made his League One first team debut on August 15, 2015 in a 0-0 draw. He moved to Bordeaux in June 2019, having agreed a four-year deal with the rivals, with their league rivals uh, Bordeaux. Due to the expiration of his Nantes contract, he joined Bordeaux on a free transfer for that season. Of Ghanaian descent, Quarting has represented France at the under 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20 levels. At the under 20 levels, he won UEFA European under 19 championship. That was in 2016. So it's quite clear he can still play because he's just played for the youth side of this team. And Okwating has been one to watch and he has performed a right back, getting his chance finally. Derek Cohn of Willem 2. He has played 31 games this season, 30 of them being stats, one goal, one assist, and three, and six uh, clean sheets. So Derek Cohn has had a great time with his club. He currently plays for Willem 2 in the Herbertise. He has played uh, for Bayern Munich 2 in the 2017 to 2020. Has played for the German under 19 side just once in 2017. Uh, Derek Cohn is a left back. He uh, plays for Vellum 2 currently. Uh, 23 years of age, Derek Cohn is. Uh, he has played his youth career uh, with Hamburger SV, with Bayern Munich. Uh, he played for Bramfelder SV as well. We'll add some uh, sort of bite to that left back position and provide competition to the others in Gideon Mensa and Abdul Babaraman obviously. Uh, Mohamed Salis, who has been courted by the Ghana national team several times, uh, there have been so much back and forth, it's expected that he will be in the squad to play in the African Cup of Nations qualifiers. He has had a topsy-turvy season after getting his chance last time out. Injury did not allow him to make his debut for Southampton early on, uh, but he has finally been able to make it and he has motored on. Has had some great moments this season, especially for his club side versus Manchester City, in which he was immense, holding the eventual Premier League champions to a 1-1 draw in that game. Uh, his side unfortunately had their 
Turvey and unfortunately times he scored own goals. His side were thrashed by Chelsea 6-0. It has not been a great season and one he would want to forget especially for some games. But hopefully we can all put all these news about him rejecting Ghana behind us and support him when he comes in to play. Salisu Mohamed there. A Patrick Pfeiffer plays for Darmstadt 98. 31 games this season, 31 starts, one goal. He has been in the team of the week five times this season, one assist and 10 clean sheets. Wow, Patrick Pfeiffer with an impeccable and enviable record there. Uh, he is of Ghanaian descent, obviously, uh, 1999, born on 20th August. He's a footballer who plays for Darmstadt. In the summer of 2019, Pfeiffer joined SV Darmstadt from Hamburger SV. He has played uh, for the youth career. He plays for Bramfield SV before eventually moving for, to Hamburg SV. He was even involved in the playoffs this weekend. Uh, for Hamburg SV 2, he made 23 appearances, scoring two goals. Uh, for Darmstadt, currently, he has one goal in 25 appearances. Uh, hoping to see what he does uh, for the national team. The next player to look at is Stefan Ambrosius, uh, Hamburg SV player as well 26 games 26 of them being stars twice in the team of the week seven clean sheets stefan ambrosius is a center back uh, who has been courted in the past uh, by the ghana national team fortunately it did not happen as represented the german team at the under 21 level playing just once uh, stefan ambrosius there his record is heavyable uh, probably would give competition and a great backup to our enviable partnership in uh, Alexander Juku and Daniel Amati. Stefan Ambrosius is a great addition to the Ghana national team, currently with Hamburger as the Stout Mohamed, who will be joining the Ghana national team. One of the strikers, new ones introduced. Uh, it's He is in Katajinya. Uh, on loan at Cartagena, 24 years of age, he has scored 9 goals, so 1 assist in 35 games and 27 of them being stats. One of the new kids on the block to look out for, Adalda Mohamed, will be making his debut for the Ghana national uh, team. Started his career with Kumasi Asante Kotoko here in the 2016-2017 season, moved to Anderlecht and then to Vitesse Armen on loan, he also moved uh, to Ebs Jerg FB on loan and then he's currently still on loan from to Katachinia. Uh, he is on loan currently from Anderlecht to Katachinia where he is a uh, thriving uh, scoring nine goals this season. He has played for Ghana under 20, uh, made seven appearances, scoring four goals. Under 23 as well, he has made three appearances and not found the back of the net. Antoine Semonio is another striker we are looking forward to meeting for the Ghana Black Stars. Unfortunately for Antoine, he could not make it uh, for the match game, uh, the World Cup playoffs that is versus the Nigeria Super Eagles because he suffered an injury that ruled him out. This season has been great for him. He has had 20 goal involvements, 8 goals scored and 12 assists for him this season. Great young man. I had an interview with him. I was privileged to have an interview with him and he talked about how excited he is to facing and play for the Ghana national team. He's looking forward to it and is one man that we should also closely monitor when he comes into the country to play for the Ghana national team. He's previously played for Sunderland and then now he is currently with Bristol City. So these are the new boys you can look forward to seeing for the Ghana national team in the upcoming international uh, friendlies and also in the African Cup of Nations uh, qualifiers as well. So that has been it for today, looking at the debutants to look out for in the Ghana national uh, team. Let me know your thoughts and comments box on them. Any more information I missed out on? Are you looking forward to seeing them? Will they add much to the national team or they will not change very much in your opinion? Let me know what you think. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great week. Oh, 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 oh,